Welcome to Year of the Water Rabbit, Sagittarius. Year of the Yin Water Rabbit begins on January 22nd of 2023, lasting through until February 9th of 2024. I'm Pastor Rosemary the Astrology Angel. I'm a Rosicrucian seer, Biblical astrologer, Christian psychic, and Gnostic mystic. And this is a readings by Rosemary Angelic Transmission. Rabbits are cute, they're cuddly, and they always have a good hair day. Even so, Bunnies love to wear hats, stylish hats, once in a while, every now and then. Yin water rabbit is a year of the black water rabbit. Yin trait makes her intuitively feminine in her personality. Black water rabbit stores up emotional or psychic energy. And yin water rabbit is quiet, passive, also calm, relaxed, big hearted, kind, stylish, elegant, and expertly skilled. So the talents are very precise and very, very competent and above competence. The planets Jupiter and Neptune are important during rabbit years, especially water rabbit years with these heavenly bodies bestowing both generosity and otherworldly ambiance. The reason Jupiter and Neptune are so important uh, is, is because they're associated with water I mean, it's the planetary natures of, of, the, of the year of the water rabbit, but they're, they're associated in many astrological, Kabbalistic, and magical systems as having to do with the element of water. And this is a yin water rabbit. So Jupiter, Neptune, very important. The otherworldly ambiance, the, the generosity, and that, that spiritual atmosphere, and the big-heartedness, and the charitableness. The, the guardian archangel of Jupiter is the archangel Satchiel, and the guardian archangel of Neptune is Asariel. Later on, we're going to get into more of these types of, of angelic associations that we can give you if you want to invoke or call upon or into your sacred circle or into yourself some angelic forces for the celestial and the terrestrial components. But for now, we're going to first give you something really fun, which is the the gemstones and the lucky, you know, the lucky colors and the auspicious numbers and the fortunate gemstones for both the, the Sagittarius gemstones, the lucky charms, and then after that, the yin water rabbit lucky charms and the fortunate talismans. Regarding the Sagittarius lucky charms for Sagittarius the archer. What are your lucky charms? Well, your gemstone, Sagittarius, is turquoise, beautiful turquoise. And that's the, the birthstone, also a fortunate gemstone. The colors for you that are auspicious, Sagittarius, are blue, white, and salmon. Salmon is a wonderful color. I love salmon. Salmon's a wonderful color blue white and salmon very auspicious for you the numbers that are fortunate for Sagittarius are four six and and one four six and one for the yin water rabbit lucky charms for Sagittarius the archer the gemstones that are auspicious for yin water rabbit so this is yin water rabbit by itself and then you'll see how you can combine these because we're going to give you specifics in a moment here but generally for the water rabbit the gemstones are amazonite 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 amazon amazonite fuchsia pearl jade adventurine Pink quartz, very lovely, very healing, and rainbow fluorite, a wonderful elegance, a wonderful generosity, just a wonderful, uh, has richness and lavishness. The rainbow fluorite really lifts up the heart during this black water rabbit year or yin water rabbit year. Very fortunate. The colors that are lucky 
for black water rabbit year are black, red, pink, and blue. The lucky numbers are three, four, and six. Three, four, and six. You can combine these. Uh, we're going to get to the the number specifics in a moment too, but go go ahead and, and, and look because we have an attached blog that you can look at and you can study these things and you can see how some of these are very lucky and also we're going to give you the specifics of the colors first. During the Yin Water Rabbit uh, year, specifically Cobalt Blue. Cobalt Blue will give extra energy if yin water rabbit is feeling a lack of energy. So if, if yin water rabbit year is causing Sagittarius to feel like you don't have enough vim and vigor, well, cobalt blue will give you that extra ability to, to have motivation and have extra energy. And it won't be too frenetic if you, if you use the cobalt blue because the cobalt blue is less, you know, the red might spice it up too much or not, the, you know, just relying upon how you feel but cobalt blue is not going to give you too much of a frenetic energy but it will give you a boost and using red and purple together gives rabbit a very rich appearance and a very luxurious presentation that will make you feel like you're yummy gray is a very popular color for rabbits though during the yin water rabbit year you might want to sort of spice it up with these bright blues like the cobalt blue or the royal blue or the reds that are more spicy and that could make you feel uh, very, very much energized. And you can use the, the yin water relaxing aspects to chill out. And then when you want to get something done, you can add a little cobalt blue. And if you need more, add some red. And then that'll really spice you up. And you can use those wonderful gemstones like, you know, the Amazonite and, and use your, your turquoise and you because that's blue so you, you can see a lot of these things will combine nicely for you Sagittarius in the yin water rabbit year so regarding the number specifics during this black water rabbit transit you might can combine the you know it's okay to com combine the three and the four and the six together to form combination numbers for example 34 36 43 46, 63, or 64. Number nine is also popular. It's a popular rabbit number. So for water rabbit year, a lot of people are going to be really excited about the number nine. And although yin water rabbit uh, year is, is sort of a quiet year, understand that nine could still be a bit too disquieting or a bit too frenetic and startling for rabbits very cool sensibilities now how that affects Sagittarius is that if you're going to use the number nine and if you feel it's too ner nerve-wracking for you then you can uh, add the color black to sort of quiet and relax any surprising or startling energy that nine the number nine generates so say you're going to deal with number nine and you get really nervous use the color black and it'll help you feel better about it it'll calm you down Stay away, do not use one, seven, and eight during a black water rabbit year, do not. Now you can check these off with your numbers and so you can see where the one in, in, your, in your Sagittarius, you know, one is auspicious but not during a rabbit year. You wanna focus on some of the other numbers during a rabbit year like your six and your four will be much more lucky for you during a rabbit year. Chinese zodiac animal compatibility. So we're gonna talk about love, we're gonna talk about romance. Everybody's favorite, love and romance. Who's compatible, who likes who, who loves who, and who doesn't like who, and who hates who. Now we're gonna find out. Now rabbit loves goat. Goats and, and, and uh, sheep are interchangeable throughout very many Asian cultures. So some may say goat, some may say sheep, but sheep and goat are interchangeable. So rabbit loves sheep or goat. So ba-boom, ba-boom, four, four goat and rabbit. And very big heart, four, ba-boom, ba-boom, four, rabbit and pig. So rabbit loves pig. Now some people say boar in some cultures. So pig or boar, rabbit loves. Big heart, big cupid's arrow, 
for rabbit and pig. Rabbit very much likes dog. Rabbit very much likes other rabbits. So you might see rabbit hop, hop, hopping to another rabbit. They very much like. Rabbit likes tiger. Rabbit likes monkey. Rabbit likes rat. Rabbit likes ox. Rabbit likes horse. Rabbit does not like snake. Rabbit does not like rooster. Rabbit hates dragon. Rabbit hates dragon. That's a very interesting story. Later, you know, first we're going to get to your Chinese zodiac animal that you associate with Sagittarius and the Jade Emperor's race. And after that, we're going to get to rabbit and how that, and there's a very interesting story in that portion. You want to really stay tuned for that because it's a very interesting story about how rabbit and dragon interact with each other. Remember, rabbit hates dragons. So you might find that somebody that you, that you hate, you may find out they've been helping you. So, and vice versa. Sagittarius mutable fire personality during yin water rabbit year. How is water rabbit going to affect Sagittarius the archer's mutable fire personality? Well, the archer, you'll develop a considerable measure of diplomacy during black water rabbit year. And you'll attune your famous frank approach to communication to be in sync with your family, your colleagues, and your community, thus refining your collective networking. This will allow you, Sagittarius, to move towards your ambitions in a very peaceful yet resolute manner. Keeping things simple will be one of your mottos during water rabbit transit. Your lifestyle will be one of speaking whatever you feel and speaking and saying whatever you think and acting however you want, acting however you please. Some individuals might be taken off guard by your quick jibes, whether you are teasing or being serious. In either case, whether they start a competition of wits with you or whether you put in the, the first jab, you will win the day because they won't be able to unseat you from your winning position because you're a winner, especially in rabbit year. After a rousing verbal bout with you, rivals will be really putty in your hands, a, a real cinch to manipulate. So it's going to be easy for you to get people to do what you want. So it's going to be easy during the rabbit year for you to, you know, be able to mold people to your liking. And you're going to get people to be your fans. They're going to be your undoubting admirer. So where somebody might have been a secret admirer, they're going to become they're, they're going to become admirers that you know exist. They're going to tell you that they admire you, Sagittarius. You're going to know about it. You'll also be the life of any party in Blackwater Rabbit Year. And Sagittarius, you will be someone that everyone enjoys talking to at parties. So everybody's going to be looking over this person and looking over that person to see you, Sagittarius. It's, it's really a good time for you socially, a good time for you when it comes to networking, as we mentioned earlier. Very important for you this year. You're also going to get to know your friends in, in, in a way that makes each relationship very unique and very special, reflecting each person's distinctive personality. Your emerging tactful skills and discretion and diplomacy are a result of these intimate friendships that you create in rabbit year. Blackwater rabbit year specifically also brings more vanity and hedonism into the mix when it comes to expressing your playful Sagittarius persona. Having fun won't stop you from fortifying, arranging, and systematizing and anchoring your finances and family life. Rabbit's fixed component of wood because rabbit, this is yin water rabbit year that we're talking about, but rabbit has a fixed component of wood. And that's going to provide kindling to the unruly forest fire aspect of your water of fire element of Sagittarius. Because you're, you're a forest fire. Where other fire signs like Aries is a striking a match and Leo is a campfire that you can cook on and utilize, Sagittarius is a wild forest fire. Okay, so that provides kindling. The good news to, to keep you well within your own control, 
So you're going to be able to control yourself during water rabbit year. This is good news because rabbits fix other fixed factor of yin, and this is also yin water rabbit, but the fixed factor of yin as well will cool Sagittarius's wildness, allowing the archer that extra dollop of insight and delicacy when dealing with other people's faux pas. The aspect of water brought about by this transit of yin water rabbit ear will further chill and relax and bring great poise to Sagittarius, giving you the ability to keep both yourself and others very cozy in yin water year. Yeah, yin water year. The yin water will add this, this extra measure of relaxation and ability to chill. This is that yin water. And the rabbit gives the stylishness and the diplomacy. A very good year indeed for Sagittarius the Archer. Sagittarius is placed in the Jade Emperor's race, the zodiac race. Western astrology sign of Sagittarius corresponds with Chinese zodiac animal of rat. Legend has it that the Jade Emperor had a race to place 12 animals on the zodiac wheel. Rabbit came in first place. Sagittarius, you're number one. Okay, rat came in first place. So that's very important for you to keep in mind. And in this race held by the Jade Emperor, rat made a deal with cat. This is how rat got to first place, when rat made a deal with cat to hit your ride on top of the ox because they were the best of friends and thought that ox would be able to cross the river faster and more assuredly than, than, than any of the other animals, thereby getting cat and rat excellent placements on the astrological wheel. Now rat made a move that caused cat to be thrown off ox, allowing rat to get ahead of everyone and finish the race in first place. So rat did some maneuver and cat got thrown off the ox and then rat was able to jump off and run ahead of ox and win the race in first place we're number one in first place rat sagittarius number one so the legend has it that this is why nowadays cat is mad at rat and rat knows why and also recognizes the cat's anger and understands that the cat's anger is right which is why we see cat always chasing rat to get retribution and rat running away from cat that's the way it goes so in the chinese zodiac the cat is not on the wheel cat didn't make it on the wheel in the chinese zodiac because of this but there are other cultures where they they exchange cat for other other animals so you know there's there's certain Japanese and Vietnamese differences in some of these animals. So cat is there for some cultures, but not in China. Cat didn't make it on the wheel, did not in China. But in some cultures, they put cat in exchange for other things, other animals. Sagittarius, the archer year of the yin water rabbit lesson. What is, what is the lesson that this transit will bring to Sagittarius? Well, you just like rat. The archer, Sagittarius, is smart, just like rat. And Sagittarius is classy, just like rat, and chic and hospitable. You won't let anyone put a damper on your enjoyment of life. You're not going to let anyone, you know, throw a wet blanket on your good time or on your pleasure. Your personal sovereignty is extremely important to you, your autonomy, your independence. And during Blackwater Rabbit Year, you'll find more patience to get along with what others desire and this is going to be after you see how easily you can defeat them when in a mind game with someone testing the limits of your shrewdness so you can really test people and when people think they're going to get in a mind game with you you know you're going to win and you always do because you you have a way a clever way of being able to play games better than other people and that's why you came in first place in the jade emperor's race sagittarius the archer year of the yin water rabbit blessing what are your blessings from the jade emperor's heaven what is going to bestow to you expect more romantic opportunities in black water rabbit year sagittarius because rabbit year energies add to your animal magnetism 
You're going to be very alluring. You're going to be very charismatic. You're going to be very enchanting, very enticing, very captivating. So your romantic opportunities are going to be a lot in Blackwater Rabbit Year. So this animal magnetism, you're really going to feel it. Keep in mind that during this transit, you will be more able to hear the needs of your suitors. You're going to be able to listen and understand and hear what it is your suitors need to be in a relationship with you and to see who they truly are on a deeper. You're going to be able to comprehend who they really are on a more profound, closer, and more amatory level. This also allows your choice of love interest to get to know you better as well, Sagittarius. So not only are you going to get to know them better and be able to be more patient, but they're going to get to know you better and they're going to be able to be able to, to, to minister to your needs, you know, in a, whether it's a close friendship or whether it's a romantic relationship or, or whether it's a family. You're going to, it's going to be a, both you and they will be able to hear each other and listen and know what they need to do to to do to help the other person feel better and and have have a more pleasant time in the relationship so there's not bickering and so there's a lot of of good so it becomes more solid and more ple pleasant and more even killed so these factors can increase the vital component of trust in your relationship so the thing that's been maybe not really there in your relationship, Sagittarius, is that trust factor, and you're going to be able to, to really, really have that trust factor. You're not only going to utilize it, but you're going to be able to anchor it in and have some real trust that goes both ways in water, rabbit, year. And that will be important because of the years that follow it are dragon and snake. And you're going to need those trusting relationships during those years because those kind of years are very exciting. And you're going to need an anchor during very exciting years. So a lot of exciting things in store. And again, rabbit year, water rabbit gives you a calm and a, and a trust that you'll really be thankful for and will cause you to have success in the years that follow. Western astrology, zodiac sign of Pisces, the fish, corresponds with Chinese zodiac animal of rabbit. Legend has it that the Jade Emperor held a race to place 12 animals on the zodiac wheel. Rabbit came in fourth place in this race held by the Jade Emperor. Dragon, that associates with Aries the Ram in Western astrology, came in fifth place after rabbit, which corresponds to Pisces in Western zodiac placement. Rabbit did his very best to win and made a good showing by taking fourth place in front of Dragon. Rabbit had fallen into the river and held on to a log that miraculously floated toward shore where the finish line was. What Rabbit didn't know at that point while holding on to a log in the river was that Dragon paused in his quest for first place to help Rabbit. Now. How Dragon helped Rabbit is that he, Dragon, used a puff of air from his great mighty lungs to push Rabbit out of his circumstance where Rabbit was stuck in a river needing Dragon's help to get to the water's edge. The story makes a good point that the Jade Emperor was very proud of Dragon's consideration of others whom he put before his own ardent desire to come in first place. The Jade Emperor was happy at Rabbit's contentment in taking fourth place, smiling wildly as Rabbit hopped by him on his way to rest after making a race well run. Now, did Rabbit ever find out that he placed so well due to Dragon's help? Dragon and the Jade Emperor were pleased to allow Rabbit to relish in his own accomplishment and by no means wanted to embarrass Rabbit. After all, team effort is more important than winning, isn't it? All right, now we're going to continue now. We're going to go to, to Yin Water Rabbit Attributes, the attributes of the Yin 
water rabbit. What are they? Well, water rabbit uh, for yin water rabbit element. Now, water rabbit of the of the yin element possesses universal rabbit qualities. On the positive side, rabbit is known to be speedy, sympathetic, benevolent, tolerant, and clever. Regarding other helpful personality traits, rabbit is also seen as silent, watchful, gifted, stylish, and conscientious. Rabbit wants to get her or his fulfillment. Now, when it comes to water rabbit's characteristics, adding water to the mix makes rabbit more tranquil, extra instinctive, delicate, ambivalent, self-indulgent, okay? Also, you're going to have uh, a quality from rabbit where, where there's sort of a neediness that is more needy than in other elemental rabbit years, okay? Now, on the negative side, on the negative side, rabbits in general can be obstinate, shallow, sad, spurious, and very guarded, okay? All right, now, rabbit zodiac animal has a yin nature in general. As far as fixed quality goes, now you're going to understand that yin and water are, are really the specific year, okay? But in general, the general quality of fixed is going to be yin nature. And also, adding the elements of yin and water creates two extra yin attributes. If passivity, coldness, darkness, and introversion of yin water rabbit year becomes too unresponsive and starts to seem a little comatose to you, <laughs> all right, too unresponsive, then adding some opposite yang attributes can help, such as we mentioned earlier to use the color red to add some excitement. You can understand that after experiencing the wild exhilaration of tiger years just before, now calmer rabbit years are usually perceived as bringing a great relief, okay? Now remember that rabbit zodiac animal has a yin natural as, na nature as, as far as a fixed quality, okay? And we're getting get into more of it later, okay? So you're adding more yin from yin water rabbit and you're adding more water from yin water rabbit but we'll get to, into the other types of of elemental qualities okay of 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 rabbit and especially yin water rabbit and then the fixed rabbit qualities we'll get into that a little bit more later now yin water rabbit advice what is the advice for yin water rabbit during this yin water rabbit year okay and rabbits in general now during water rabbit of yin element year be conscious about not allowing things to become too unresponsive for too uh, careless you know of a of an attitude towards that can cause a problem again it can be, make people become comatose okay because of all the yin aspects and you're adding water which is also yin now while some people might want to use uh, all of their merits or consume all of next year's provisions that would not be prudent too much raw anxiety and immature thinking could cause carelessness that can lead people into a situation where they allow their lives, their bodies, their relationships, their finances, or their properties to depreciate. You don't want that to happen. This type of devaluation of your self-esteem, okay, occasionally creates radical viewpoints when it comes to religion. Now, also, it can, it can create radical or fanatical viewpoints when it comes to politics or other social institutions. Be cognizant of your attitude and your general attitude in life, for that matter, you know, during black water rabbit year, because yin water rabbit year is a black water rabbit year. And remember to motivate yourself and others to fitness of mind, the fitness of body, and the fitness of your spirit, okay? All right, now... What are the yin water rabbit influences? What are the influences of the yin water rabbit? Now, yin water rabbit influence in water rabbit uh, of yin element year, being that rabbit had help from zodiac animal of dragon. Remember when, 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 when rabbit was stuck in the river? Remember when rabbit was stuck in the river? And who, who, helped, who helped rabbit? 
dragon. And what did dragon give up to help rabbit? He gave up first place. And, and what happened? Who placed before who? That's right. Because even dragon allowed rabbit to, to go ahead because dragon had fallen behind in helping rabbit. So you see how, how self-sacrificing dra dragon is, okay? You see how, how self-sacrificing dragon is. And rabbit really didn't know who had, who had helped him, you know? He didn't know. He, didn't, he had no idea who had, had helped him. He was just hop, hop, hopping. He was hop, hop, hopping. <laughs> okay, rabbit. And then he plop fell in the river. And then he got stuck there. And then, remember, dragon got his mighty lungs and pushed him towards safety by blowing the air, and rabbit didn't even know who helped him. Okay, now, so understand that, keep in mind that when rabbit crossed the finish line, because dragon had helped rabbit, keep in mind during this water rabbit year that someone that you think you are superior to, someone you think you are superior to, is the one that is helping you without you knowing it. It's the people below you that are helping you without you knowing it. And it might be somebody that you think you're superior to, that you're actually not superior to. Because in reality, we all have an equally important role in creation. We all have an equally important role in, cre in creation. That's the reality of it, okay? We have, we're not equal as far as are what, what we come what we come into the world with as far as one person might have more money or one person might have more talent or one person might have be a bigger person one person might be a smaller person you know all these different things but each group of qualities that each person has is just as important as every other because you can't have creation in its finished state without each single piece being there. If one little tiny thing were missing, it wouldn't work. Now, one blade of grass could be missing, or it wouldn't work. Even a blade of grass is as important as anybody, as important as a king, a blade of grass is just as important in the grand scheme of equal importance. You understand? All right. Now, if you understand this, then this way you won't get ahead of yourself thinking that all your accomplishments are the result of you alone. You're being helped. Everybody is. But if you think you're the one who's helping everybody, others are helping you. And the, piece, the, 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 the people or the person that you think you're helping is actually helping you. All right. Now, this way, you won't get ahead of yourselves thinking that all your accomplishments are your own your own merit. Rather, your achievements are the product of those who give you a leg up when you are in dire straits. This is true for every one of us, regardless of your station in life. For the human race is a system, an organ of a larger body of earth, and each of us are the microcosm of that body. The macrocosm is the, the universe, and the microcosm is every other smaller organism. Now, holding all of this in mind, Keep all of this in your mind during Yin Water Rabbit Year. This gives you a chance to regroup if you can use the stillness of this combination of Yin qualities to create serenity rather than becoming overly nervous in your thinking or, or overly anxious in your emotions. This way you won't be lured into drastic situations during the Black Water Rabbit Year, the Yin Black Water Rabbit Year. All right, now, what you want to um, understand is that this isn't the last time this is going to happen, okay? In Chinese astrology, it's very important to understand that the year of the rabbit repeats every 12 years in Chinese astrology, okay? While year of the yin water rabbit repeats every 60 years, 60, 60 years occurring in 2023, 2083, 2143, 2203, 2263, and 2323. Now, Yin Black Water Rabbit Year of 2023 on the Gregorian calendar overlaps with higher counts of both ancient and modern traditional Chinese calendars. 
Ancient sources, the Chinese year in 2023 will be 7243, Chinese year. Modern sources say that the Chinese year in 2023 will be 4720 in the Chinese year. There's a difference there of about, of, of, of about uh, what, 3,000 years, okay? So, you know, when they say that, that it's 6,000 years before the, before the Messianic kingdom comes into effect and all that, well, it's actually already 1,000 years into it. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, but they, they play with that because they don't want you to know that, that they're supposed to be doing a better job. Now, comparative cultural astrology and New Year's celebrations. Traditional Chinese zodiac places rat, which associates with Sagittarius in the Western astrology system at the beginning, November 22nd to November 21st, and pig, which associates with Scorpio at the ending October 23rd to November 22nd of the astrological wheel. It is intriguing to notice that the Chinese zodiac splits its beginning and end between rat and Sagittarius and pig, Scorpio, which is right where the mysterious zodiac sign of um, Ophiuchus, the serpent bearer, is found. Now, Oph Ophiuchus is, is often called the 13th zodiac sign. It's equally fascinating to become aware that the Celtic pagans consider the festival of Samhain on the 31st of October, you know, Halloween, you know, Samhain. They call it Samhain, uh, modern people, but the ancients call it Samhain. It, it looks like it's spelled Samhain, but it's actually pro pro pronounced Samhain. <laughs> Samhain. It's spelled like Samhain, but we say Samhain. But it, you know what I'm talking about. And that's also All Hallows Eve. And it's also Halloween. Now that is the Celtic pagans' New Year. That's actually their New Year, also being a lunar calendar. Okay. With that said, when corresponding with Western astrology, one would associate the head of the Western zodiac, which is Aries, with dragon, and Pisces, the tail of Western astrology, with rabbit. It's also fascinating to comprehend that there are, in many cultures, more than one New Year's celebratory festivals. Okay. Now. The yin water rabbit year is formed from the attributes of being the 10th heavenly stem of yin water gotten from, from 10 celestial elemental qualities and the fourth earthly branch from 12 terrestrial animal personalities. Key words for yin water rabbit year. The Chinese word uh, gui, ke, guai, primary and secondary meanings are decade, 10, drastic, naughty, 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 ghost, devil, and is the 10th heavenly stem. The Chinese word of Mao, and that's primary and secondary meanings are hair, feather, wool, mildew, crude, young, raw, careless, scared of money. To devaluate or depreciate, devaluate and depreciate your belongings, devaluate and depreciate your money, and devaluate and depreciate yourself. Now, also Mao, which is the fourth earthly branch, means to uh, extra strength or to consume future rations today. Okay, so what you're going to see people wanting to do and doing during rabbit year is uh eat drink and be merry you know for tomorrow we're not going to be here anymore <laughs> that kind of thing or um i glad you I, i'm glad you pay you um on on a different day if you give me this widget today you know that kind of thing you understand okay now the the um regarding these these stems and the branches. Now it's important to note that the 10th heavenly or celestial stems are derived from five elements in Chinese astrology which are fire, metal, wood, earth, and water. Now the 10 qualities are comprised of the characteristics of yin and yang divisions with the assigned element elemental attribute uh, with this current year of the water rabbit being a yin water rabbit year. Therefore, there are 10 aspects gotten from yin and yang characteristics of the five Chinese elements. Now, regarding the primary guardian angels for yin water rabbit year. Before we proceed, I want to tell you just one thing. They always say that in Chinese astrology, you know, they have, you know, five elements 
and in Western they only have four. They actually have five in Western too, but in Western they got rid of ether because they didn't want they didn't want uh, Westerners to be spiritual. They want us to think we have to go to the East to get our spirituality. Everybody has the exact same spirituality, the exact same stories that are told in the Bible, or the exact same stories that are told regarding uh, the um, the I Ching. Like for example, uh, when you begin with formless nothing, and then you create this and that and the other thing, well, that's from the Tao Te Ching. Everything that Jesus said, just about, is in the Tao Te Ching. He just copied it and put it in his own language. So understand. Or maybe nobody copied anybody. Maybe there was one thing everybody came from, and then at, at Babylon, you know, at, at, at the Tower of Babel, maybe at that point what happened was somebody said, you know what, they're getting pretty far ahead because they're all talking the same language. You know what we're going to do? The people, you know, the higher-ups said, we're, we're going to... Um, confound their languages, separate them, give them different language. We don't want them communicating because if they communicate, they might do well or we won't be able to control them anymore. So that's what they did then and that's what they might try to do again or not. We'll see. Just for your information. Now, primary guardian angels for yin, water, rabbit, year. All right. For the aspect of water, elemental archangel of water is the archangel Gabriel, being the archangel of all the water signs in Western astrology. Okay, now regarding the component of yin, which is associated with water, elemental archangel, the archangel Gabriel, okay, the archangel Gabriel, again associated with the water element. Now, he is not only the elemental archangel of all the water signs, okay, but also since yin and is associated with water, he's also the Archangel of Yin, okay? Therefore, there is a double dose of blessings from Archangel Gabriel, a double dose of blessings from our beloved Archangel, Guardian Angel Gabriel. Western astrology zodiac sign of Pisces, which corresponds to Chinese uh, zodiac sign of rabbit, is a water sign, mutable water for Pisces, and that's like rabbit. Now, Pisces corresponding to rabbit gives us rabbit's fixed alchemical constituent of wood in Chinese astrology. So understand that we said that yin is fixed rabbit. Now water is not fixed rabbit. Water comes from yin and from also uh, from yin water rabbit year. But the fixed rabbit quality for the elements are wood. So it's yin and wood are fixed rabbit. This year is yin water rabbit. Okay. But fixed rabbit is yin and wood. Just so you understand that. Okay? Capiche? All right. Makes sense. All right. Now, since there is no corresponding Western astrology element to the Chinese component of wood, we shall take a look at some of rabbit's other fixed aspects of yin and springtime. Springtime. The season of mid-spring is similar to the warmer and moister elements associated with the guardian angel... Raphael, the guardian angel Raphael, okay, that rules over the eastern direction of the compass as well as of all the air signs in the western zodiac. And since rabbit also has fixed aspect of yin and also has another fixed aspect of having an, an, east, an eastward or an eastern compass direction, fixed yin bestows Gabriel and East bestows Raphael, adding to the potency of both elemental Archangel Gabriel and elemental Archangel Raphael. So with these two Archangels, these two guardian Archangels of Raphael and Gabriel, you can call upon them throughout the yin water rabbit year. Okay, you can call on both of them. Gabriel, you can call on okay to call on Gabriel and you can call on Raphael Raphael during the yin water rabbit year so those are two guardian angels you can really rely upon okay associating with with yin and wood okay two fixed elemental aspects of rabbit all right now therefore in summary the elemental archangels that are beneficial to evoke which is to call upon for yin water rabbit year are archangels Gabriel for the yin component, 
Gabrielle for the yin component. Also Gabrielle for the, that's right, water element, water and yin for Gabrielle because water and yin are similar. And Raphael for both the mid springtime aspects and also for air, for air, the quality of air, and also for the mid springtime aspects. And we're using air because the springtime is associated with the east and in the east in Western magic, we have, uh, as far as uh, as far as the coordinates that we're going, that we're using, it, it has to do with with the east. Okay, okay. Now, then we'll get into the, some of the differentiations about that in a moment. Now, and we'll make that real clear. Now, the zodiac angel Amnitziel, Amnitziel, like the Amnitzi, like amniotic fluid, for Pisces, Amnitziel, amniotic fluid, like like the ocean is like the birth water, okay? The amniotic fluid, the ocean. Pisces, the fish. So the zodiac angel Amnitziel for Pisces, the fish, which is water of water or a mutable water sign, is another guardian angel to call upon during yin water rabbit transit. So Amnitziel is another archangel to evoke, call upon, or to invoke into yourself or to evoke into your magic circle or sacred space. Yeah? You understand? Capiche? Capiche. Now, secondary guardian angels for yin, water, rabbit, year. The planetary archangels with, which correspond to Pisces, being Western astrology, correspondent for year of the rabbit are angelic rulers of Jupiter and Neptune. So we're talking about the planets Jupiter and Neptune. Now, Jupiter's archangel is Sachiel. Sachiel. And Neptune's archangel is Asariel. Awareness of both Western and Eastern astrology associations is very helpful. Call upon the guardian archangel Sachiel of Jupiter for matters of health and wealth, and guardian angel archangel Asariel of Neptune for matters of spirituality. Now, Earth and celestial angelic coordinates for yin water rabbit year are as follows now we're going to give you first the elemental coordinates now what do we mean by the elemental coordinates that are earth coordinates okay there's earth coordinates that happen on earth and there's celestial coordinates would what hap coordinates would happen in the sky in the stars having to do with the four fixed signs in astrology being leo and taurus and also uh, scorpio Okay, and uh, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and uh, Aquarius for air. So, and the same on the Earth. But see, on the Earth, you're not using the, you're not using the zodiac signs. You're not using the stars. You're using the winds of the Earth from the point of view of the northern hemisphere, from Egypt, where the the from Chem from chemistry, from chem, which, which is the black arts, is actually the black arts is chemistry. It's from the black sands, like a black sand beach, okay? Where, when we do alchemy, we get a lot of our, our monoatomics, our platinum group elements by doing alchemical uh, practices upon the actual black uh, volcanic rock, okay? And that's the chemistry. That's the word chemistry. That's chem, and chem, K-E-M, that, that's you know, that's from Egypt, and that's the alchemical arts. It's the art, the black magic is just really the arts of alchemy. And if you know an, if you know a, an alchemist, you, if you know a, a pharmacist, or anybody that passes out medication, like a nurse or a pharmacist, then you know an alchemist. If you know somebody that makes pharmaceuticals, you know an alchemist, okay? Like all the pharmaceutical countries, uh, com companies are alchemists. And the, also, an alchemist is a witch. A witch is an alchemist, and an alchemist is a witch. So if you want to get rid of witches, you're going to have to get rid of all the people that make drugs, all the pharmaceutical companies, all the doctors, all the nurses. You're going to have to get rid of all the hospitals. You're going to have to get rid of all the, all the uh, pharmacists, all the doctors and all the nurses. And you won't have any medicines, and then you'll get rid of all the witches because those are witches, just so you know. Okay. So first we're going to give you the earth coordinates of elemental guardian angels. So this is on the earth because of the wind. Okay, from the point of view of the northern hemisphere. We have the north elemental archangel of earth is Uriel. The archangel Uriel, U-R, 
I-E-L, Uriel, of Earth, okay? Now, also, the Merkaba field for Earth um, is this, okay? Looks like something you might have saw in a science fiction movie once. <laughs> okay, so that's for Earth. Now, that's the North and Earth are associated on the celest on excuse me on the terrestrial coordinates so celestial terrestrial so on the terrestrial coordinates for earth we have north association and that's uriel now for east elemental archangel of air is raphael in the in the in the east okay air east okay so we have this is the merkaba field for the east mer meeting meeting rotating fields of light Ka meaning uh, spirit and Ba meaning soul. So this is the Merkaba field for the Archangel of Air, Raphael, and for the Elemental Archangel, Raphael, in the east on the terrestrial coordinates. Now the South Elemental Archangel for fire, for fire, is Michael, Archangel Michael or Michael, and he slays the serpent here, or slays the dragon, slays the serpent. Okay, and this is the Merkaba field of Archangel Michael, or of all the fire archangels, the fire, all the fire signs. Uh, this is the Merkaba field of Archangel Michael of the fire archangels, okay? And Michael, when you see a picture of Michael slaying a serpent like in this picture, or slaying, slaying a, a dragon, that's good for stopping lust, but you know what else it does? It makes people fall out of love with you. So if you're in love with somebody and you have sexual feelings for that person, if it's your husband or your boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend or wife or whatever it is, and you go somewhere and you see a picture or a statue of, of Michael, not Michael just standing on a cloud, but of Michael slaying a snake or a dragon, you are going to make those people break up. A, a couple might break up if they see this picture or a statue with this image. Not any image of Michael, but one where Michael or any man or any angel is slaying a dragon or slaying a serpent because that's the killing of your kundalini energy, your sexual energy. So that is not a good thing to do if you want to keep your relationship together. Don't, don't take your lover or your husband or your wife or whatever to a place where you're going to see an angel or a man killing a dragon or watch a movie like that because you're going to end up not being able to stay together. So if you go see a movie where you have somebody killing something that looks like a dragon, you have like a hero or a heroine killing something that looks like a big snake or a big dragon, you know what you're going to do? If, you, if you're seeing it with your lover or your husband or your wife or your whatever, you're going to end up breaking up. Now, if you're trying to get someone broken up, that's some kind of evil magic that you can stick in their face, but I'm just saying. So if... Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Right. Now, West Elemental Archangel of Water on the terrestrial coordinates is Gabriel. And the Merkaba field for Gabriel is this. And this, these, these wonderful Merkaba fields were made for me by a psychic I used to work with named David, who worked uh, with me at the psychic fairs. And uh, he made all these for me just out of the goodness of his heart. He's a wonderful um, psychic and a wonderful person for making such wonderful, you know, associations. So I can trade the Merkaba. Now the Merkaba fields aren't really associated with the terrestrial coordinates so much. Like they're more associated with either angels. The terrestrial angels are messengers from heaven to earth. So you can see angels on the terrestrial coordinates, or you can see like some a water symbol, a fire symbol, an air symbol, and an earth symbol. But I'm using this to make it uh, more understandable to you because on the earth, the number f it's the number five for the earth. That's why I use a pentagram if you want to invoke things and you have to make it go in different directions to, to bring it into different, uh, to bring in different elements. Okay, now the celestial coordinates for elemental guardian archangels, you're going to be using six-sided, uh, you're going to be using things that look like the Star of David. In a three-dimensional field, they become a Merkaba field. So these are actually extremely appropriate for the celestial coordinates, which we're going to give you now, and understand that the angels are good for both because the angels go between heaven and the earth. Okay? So the, for the north, now the, the north elemental archangel, uh, where on, in, the, in the terrestrial coordinates in the north, you have Uriel and the earth. For the celestial coordinates in the north, you have the elemental 
archangel of water, Gabriel. So you have this in the north for the celestial coordinates, okay? And that's because of the placement of Scorpio. And at least Scorpio at a specific uh, moment in, in, in a, pl a specific place in a specific moment in, in, in most likely Egypt, okay? Or somewhere like that, or Mesopotamia, or one of those places. Now, East Elemental Archangel of Fire is the Archangel Michael. And the Archangel Michael and fire, again, the Merkaba field for fire, Archangel. So in the East, the Elemental Archangel of Fire for the celestial coordinates, Michael. Michael, in the East, for celestial coordinates. Now, the South Elemental Archangel for the celestial coordinates is Earth. So in the South, you have what looks like a three-dimensional Star of David, three-dimensional Star of David for the Earth, okay? And you have, uh, that's in the South, and that's for Uriel, and this is for the celestial coordinates. This is for the celestial coordinates. So you see we have just as much magic in the West as they do in the East, but for some reason in the West, everybody's very stingy with their information and, and with allowing people to, to utilize these things. And people in the East are more generous and more helpful with letting us use these things. <laughs> so, you know, you have to learn from both because, you know, they're actually all from the same place and all started in the same place at the same time. Now, uh, the West Elemental Archangel for Air, Raphael for the Celestial Coordinates, the Guardian Archangel, Raphael for Air, the West Elemental Archangel, Raphael Air, and that is again for the Celestial Coordinates, using these wonderful Merkaba fields made for me by the psychic David that I was so lucky that he blessed my life with his wonderful sculptures. I'm so blessed. He gave it out of it was just a gift from the goodness of his heart. Now, the fortunate compass directions. Year of the Yin Water Rabbit finds lucky destiny in easterly, southerly, and northwesterly directions. Using Yin Water Rabbit Year, of, of avoid westerly and northerly and southwesterly directions. Again, it's good luck and good fortune during the Yin Water Rabbit Year in the easterly, southerly, and northwesterly compass directions. Now, during Yin Water Rabbit Year, avoid, avoid westerly, northerly, and southwesterly directions of the compass. Now, we're going to go over the specific element that's for this, not fixed, but the ones for this year, Yin, 2023, Yin, Water, and Rabbit. Okay, just a general, uh, just a brief list of the general associations. Now, understand that th this yin water rabbit happens every 60 years. Now, f for yin, yin is feminine. Yin is feminine. It's night. It's cold. Yin is water. Yin is wet. Yin is winter. Yin is inner. Yin is passive. Yin is uninterested. Yin is contracting. Yin is soft, and yin is the ventral side of the body. Water is fortunate, prosperous, self-reflective, traditional, shrewd, credible, fearful, cold, salty. Has to do with the ears. Also has to do with flexibility. Something as accommodating as water. Now for the general rabbit associations. Rabbit, general fixed rabbit associations, general yin, excuse me, general, <laughs> general rabbit associations, fixed rabbit associations are yin, mid-spring, wood, Pisces. Some of the plants are plantago, lily, Jasmine, Snapdragon, Cyclamen, the second month on the Chinese lunar calendar, the fourth trine of midspring corresponding to wood, which associates with the liver and the gallbladder. So make sure you take good care of your liver 
and gallbladder. The, 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 the nonchalantness and uncaringness of this year will help people not get so angry and bitter. But in your not getting angry, then don't become bitter. It's easy to get bitter if you don't let your anger out. Now, there are five elements in Chinese astrology being fire, metal, wood, earth, and water. Now, the, uh, each, each element controls another element and it goes in a nice circle. Fire controls metal. Metal controls wood. Wood controls earth. Earth controls water. And water controls fire. Now, this is the circle of life as we have come full circle. Fire is joy, heat, bitter, the tongue. Earth is worry, damp, sweet, the mouth. Metal is grief, dry, pungent, and the nose. Water is fear, cold, salty, and the ears. And wood is anger, wind, sour and the eyes. Now regarding the, the Chinese New Year, now to calculate Chinese New Year, simply count the second new moon that comes after the winter solstice. The, the Chinese might do it a little different. They do it, but I don't, I think that's the way the Chinese do it. The, uh, I think what they do in the West is say that it's, it's, the, it's, a, it's a, the new moon that happens between uh, January, the end of January and the end of February. So they move it over and that's, you know, but that, I think the Chinese say, to calculate the, I mean, I know the Chinese say because they're going to go from the winter solstice and the new moon. So th for the Chinese, and the traditional way is to calculate the Chinese New Year to, by simply counting the second new moon that comes after the winter solstice. Okay? Okay. Now, regarding all this information that's in the attached document and in this presentation, information found in the document that we have, give you access to and that is based in, in, this, in, in, in this presentation is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by a Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I've committed to memory. Thank you for joining us. And join us again for the next installment of your Chinese Astrology Zodiac Animal. See you then. <laughs>